My name's John O'Clark. Um, I've been climbing of all sorts since I was about 16 years old. Mostly self-taught, <laughs> which I know isn't the best way to do it. Mostly into ice and mixed climbing, although I've done quite a lot of mountaineering in New Zealand and done a bit overseas in Patagonia and French Alps and the like. Yeah, I've had a few uh, interesting experiences with avalanches in the mountains. Probably one of my um, most frightening ones was on Ruapehu though, which is over at Takino Ski Field, and I was, I was on the mountain. Uh, I thought I'd go and dig a pit from what I'd learnt in my um, reading books, and I was halfway through it, and my hand kind of descended into this, all these ball bearings, which then fell out around me, and then there was a quite a loud crack in the 50 metre kind of wide a slab avalanche set off and I rode a piece down about the size of two surfboards and um, managed to roll off the side of it with about three or four rolls and then I was sitting there as I watched it all um, turn into a humongous pile in this kind of narrow gully which possibly would have been where I would have been if I hadn't got off it. Yeah, I'd missed something that was actually I should have been able to see. Probably nowadays I would have known that it was the wrong place to go, but I didn't at that time. Generally, if, if you get caught in a slide or or you made a bad decision, you don't you necessarily want to share that because it might you think it might make you look stupid. But that's kind of it's important information um, that could save someone else's life. So the public observations tool is a really good tool for um, people to use and that I really encourage everyone to have a look at it. Um, you can anonymously report anything you see. You can just uh, say what you saw, take a photo, you can put, you upload photos and you could stop someone else from going there or make someone else think more carefully about their route plan, which is, you know, so it is really, really useful stuff. Yeah, increasing your knowledge so you can make observations in the outdoors, which is probably one of the most useful things. Conditions can change really quickly. In the last couple of years, I've seen slab conditions change from one aspect to the other overnight. Or well, you talk to people, then you get an idea, you get a big plan about, um, and it, it really helps make it less, much less likely you're gonna get caught out unaware.